Hello my friends, how is it going? Hopefully that you are doing great. So in the last video, uh, we were talking about how to click on a switch button here on the screen, um, here. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to wait to uh, an element display on the screen before you interact with it. Because you know in the real application, uh, sometimes the element is not displayed right away on your screen to interact with. So it's very important to know about that API. So for this application, um, all of the elements uh, appear um, just right away you, you swipe or you click on the icon here on the home page, web view, login and form. So to trigger something like we need to, to wait uh, till it display, I will show you how it fell first and then how to fit it. Okay, so I'm going to do what? Instead of click on the form icon home screen here, I'm going to click on the login icon here and I'm waiting uh, and I will try to interact with the switch button. So uh, of course we don't have a, we don't have a switch button on the screen. So that means our test will be failed, right? But, and after that, I will show you how to waste uh, an element to its uh, display. So let's start. <clears throat> so try to create something new script here in under API folder like you did before. Just right click on the new and then do a JavaScript path and name it with uh, something like wait for display. This will be the API name we are going to use. So because it's a test file, so I'm going to declare the, the correct keyword here, the first parameter and the second parameter. So the first parameter is very important because if you let if you left it empty, the test will be not run. Okay, so we declare a test suit, uh, something like uh, in the switch button here. It's just for demo, so you just copy. Is that something like learning API, and you have something like a test step, not test step. It should be a test case here. I'm going to get the succession up. I'm going to get the IDA succession to input, to insert here, to insert the mocha plot. Yep. So is it a function or is a is it an error function? It does matter. Okay, so you can declare as an error function here. This will be the same. So let me copy all of the code here from switch API. And then what I'm going to do that instead of click on the form icon home screen, I'm going to click on the login form. So where is the login form here? This is the login icon, right? So I'm going to click on the login form here, login icon. So going to click on the login form. Okay. And in this case, because we don't have a, a uh, in this case, because we don't have a switch button on the login form, so we are trying to interact with it, so it will fail. But it's a fail as expected. So I just want to show you uh, how it's fail and how can we fix it, okay? So now we run. So before running this, we need to copy, copy pass. It should be the pass from the root. Yeah. And I'm going to open the test configuration file here and trying to replace with the new ones. So here in space array, 
I replace uh, the old uh, script with the new one here um, and I'm going to run the test but before running the test remember to start the IPM server first I I think you already knew how to start the IPM server okay so let's run the test by trigger the command npm test and you specify the test configuration, uh, test configuration file here so in the case it's the test config and we enter now it's launched the test and click on the login form and try into search for the switch button yeah and we will got uh, a failure like can call click on element with selector because element wasn't found right so what we are going now that we are trying to here we click on the login icon here and the next step like uh, next step that's the try manually uh, click on the uh, the form 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 screen. Okay, so just call it form screen. We will run uh, something like the login icon. You click and you click and you are now on the login form, right? So you try manually click on the form screen, and before doing that, we need to do something like yeah we need to do something like wait sometime maybe around uh two seconds okay three seconds four seconds four seconds and then we try to manually click on the form screen now we need to wait right before we call the API click. So here we will specify switch button and then we call the API wait. You see, wait for display, wait for clickable, wait for enable. So the correct thing here is now you need to wait for display API here. And you specify some option and you need to specify the timeout here and the timeout here should be 5000 seconds that means you need to wait around 5 um 5000 millisecond here for example 6000 millisecond so our strategy is now that we click on the login icon and then we wait to uh wait around for a second then try when you only click on the form screen but because you know we are waiting till the switch button display during six seconds, so the test will be not failed. But internally, it will check for the command around uh, 500 second. Uh, uh, sorry, 500 millisecond is about uh, and half a second, and then it keep checking, checking, checking. It does mean that it will wait uh, till six seconds anytime it see the element is display it will trigger the next one okay so just run the test Now it's open the application, click on login form one, two, three, four, and we click on the form. Hmm, still failing. Let me see something happen. Oh, after uh, because we we were so late, so we need to trigger this time 
um, did action uh, before the time that the six second. Okay, so just run again. One, two, three, four. Yeah, now you see, it is now file the element on the screen and then it could interact with the element. So, the way for display is a very useful API you need to know because in the real application, you need to wait for an element display before you interact with it. So in the case we have some, for example, in this screen, in the case we have some element in the bottom and because it's a height, so for some case you cannot interact with an element. It's not in the view box. The view box is here, right? You see this place here, but because that element is height here, so how can we swipe up, swipe down, something like that, to see the, 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 the element in the viewport before interact with it? So we will learn in the next lesson. So um, try to keep learning and see you in the next video.